Welcome everybody. This is a new human experience podcast and tonight is October the 17th, 2019. Our topic tonight is embracing peace. So I've been trying to think of ways to support all of you um, during this transition time. So within this um, couple, next couple of years, we're actually in the transition time. And um, so one of the things I would like to talk about this evening is really about emotions, how to, how to learn to really be, to have our emotions support us rather than be run by our emotions. So that hence the topic of embracing peace, because peace is really our um, when we are in our source, when we are in our sourceness, we are in peace with ourselves because we know who we are. We are the creator and everything is really within our control. So when you, when you are in that mindset, nothing much can upset you. So peace is really the, I would say the default. However, as a human being, we are not quite there yet. Um, at least not everybody is. Uh, most people are in various stages of really getting to know who we truly are. The, and to get to know the, the part of us that is really source, the source that is within us. So as human beings, though, sometimes, um, or I should say oftentimes, peace, being feeling of peace is very elusive and that's when we let our emotions run us rather than getting our emotions to work for us and and um, help us our emotions actually is a very key piece of being a human being it really enhance our experience as a human being um, we are here to experience in this body. So we are equipped with all the um, five senses and also other senses beyond the, the five senses as well. And um, all of this is actually, all of this is actually to enhance our experience because we as source want to take on a body all the purpose of having a body is simply to experience and emotions our emotions is um, a part of enhancing our experience as a human being it lets us enjoy being with other people it also enjoys uh, uh, lets us enjoy being in nature enjoys being with other animals that's also sharing the space called earth. So emotions is a key piece in allowing us to and really get the full benefit of enjoying our experience. However, our experience um, sometimes causes us to, to, to have so much emotions that the emotions part start to overwhelm us that's when we we can't um, that's when we get run by our emotions and that's when the emotions start to get um, out of hand out of control and we're always spiraling and always being at the mercy of our emotions rather than letting emotions help us and assist us in in enjoying being human and um so that's why I want to talk about what really is emotions. If you look at emotions, behind every emotion, there is a story. And the story is what we tell ourselves, our internal dialogue tells ourselves how we should react in the situation. So, the, and for example, if, if something happens to me, and I look at it as a something that is bad. Like I, I, I termed it because my story has it that when this happens, that means it is bad. And I'm supposed to feel violated, angry, or whatever the emotions that I want to, that I'm telling myself to um, start to get more into 
to, to pull in in order for me to create this experience for myself. So that's really what's behind emotions. It's the story we tell ourselves. And behind the story, there is always beliefs. We are infinite source. So we actually have all, we have, um, we have a choice of all the beliefs that we can dream up. However, as human beings, we, we tend to just focus on certain beliefs just so that we can have an experience. So when we are fixated on certain beliefs and that's when we start to um, keep repeating that, that um, experience over and over again until we start to get bored with it or start to get frustrated in, with it and we want to find a way out of that um, recurring train of beliefs, train of thoughts, train of emotions and experiences. So that's why when we want to get a handle on our emotions, then what we need to do is actually start to look at the story and the beliefs behind those emotions. So I'm just going to describe two ways that I can think of to help um, someone who wants to start to process their own emotions so that they can embrace peace or embrace the part of them that is um, always residing in peace already. It is just that a lot of the times, the emotions, the experience we have in life um, covered all those, the, the covered on top of the peace that is really behind everything. So I would say that the first method, let's say, let's call it method A, is more of the methodical um, method. So, so first step is um, when you get triggered, when you're emotional. So what to do? So when you're emotional, um, there really is not much you can do at that moment except to observe that emotion and allow it to allow it to just like a, a, a big wave to just come over you. And when a wave of emotions come, it will at some point start to calm down and it will start to leave. And why would I suggest that? It's because when you're emotional, it's like you're on overwhelmed and you just cannot think straight. So the best thing to do is to just, just keep calm, keep breathing, and just allow the emotions to just um, kind of maxed out on its own. And when it maxed out, and Okay. All you have to do is just actually observe. Observe what your internal dialogue is telling you because what you're saying to yourself is really what's causing the emotions. So the internal dialogue may be something like, oh my God, uh, for example, this. Um, for example, let's, let's say I don't have enough money for rent next, next month. So then at some point during the 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 month you will all of a sudden um, panic and when you're panicking you have this internal story that tells you oh my god i have no money and what would that mean that means i'm gonna get kicked out of the house for example or i'm gonna be have to ask my um, friends or um, my family for money or the shame and guilt and all that, that is, that's actually what's behind that story of no money. Because if you don't have those stories of the game and, and the, the, the shame and the guilt of all that, then there is really nothing fueling that emotions. So when you're in the throes of emotions, when you are just feeling that panic, then don't um, there's nothing you can do at the moment of the panic except to observe what are you telling yourself. So 
when the emotions die down, or when you when you start to be able to breathe again normally, then you can start to get to work. Is when you are no longer um, being overwhelmed, then that's when you can start to recover the stories, the belief system that have you feel that way, and when you can actually write it all out and look at it, then you can start to poke holes at it because we are infinite creators. As long as we are alive, our higher self or our soul would provide for us. So all of these these stories is really what we um, our our mind is just stuck on so that we keep on creating the same thing until when we start to hook holes at our belief system. When our belief system is loose enough, when we start to understand, um, well, somehow something will show up and letting go of all the beliefs that is supporting us to feel overwhelmed. And then when we start to see how crazy or how um, not logical that story is. That's when we can start to dismantle that story. And when we dismantle the story, it created a pattern interrupt. It interrupts our um, creation, our creation, so that we can't create the same scenario anymore because our beliefs is cannot support that same scenario anymore and that's when we can start to create something new we can start to create that there's a distant um, relative that's all of a sudden sent us some money for example out of the blue someone you don't even remember that you have met or seen such a long time ago would somehow send you some money or um, all of a sudden you would land a client that's going to um, be able to buy your program or whatever service that you are putting out. And all of a sudden um, your rent is taken care of and your livelihood is taken care of. However, without taking care of that emotions, without dismantling that stories and all that, you are still running the same story scenario and you're still creating the same thing. So when you do that work of dismantling the story, dismantling the beliefs, then the emotions no longer has any fuel. You may still feel a little panic at times when you see the bank account, you know, starting to run low. However, it does not run you. You just need to know that, oh, okay, it's time to get creative again. So that's the, the first way that, that I'm, the first method, method A. And I suggest another method, which is method B. Um, I'm not saying that one method is better than the other. I think it depends on who you are and what resonates with you. So method B is really to, um, to understand one thing, to really, it's, uh, I would say it's more to work on your own consciousness, is to know that um, stories and beliefs are always based in the past. And when you start to choose what you're thinking in every moment of now, and always keep yourself to just be in the now, and start to choose your thoughts very carefully and also have the understanding that um, beliefs, all those things, it's really, you can choose it. You can start to create a different story right in the moment, in the now, and start to make a different meaning about what's showing up in your life. And when you make a different meaning, give it a different meaning, then you know that, and you can um, start to con like be in control of your own state of mind, be in control of what emotions you want to 
the experiencing and when you get to the point where you can be so conscious of every choice you make every belief you give energy to and every story that you give energy to and you can actually create the most beneficial scenario for yourself you can manage your state and when you manage your state then the start to watch how the outside world begin to reflect whatever it is that's inside when you choose peace and you can sustain that feeling of peace within yourself for a long period of time then peace or scenarios that support you to be in that peace will more and more show up. So those are the two methods that I can think of. And this is actually um, what I want to share this evening because I, instead of making this a evening of uh, talking a lot, I actually just want to uh, Go to the next part. Okay, let me just start to uh, stop the.